Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the first hands-on video in the Cumulus Cycles Raspberry Pi playlist, where we'll be building a circuit to use a push button to toggle an LED. For this tutorial, in addition to a Raspberry Pi board with a micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi OS installed and a power supply, you'll also need a push button, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. If you watched the first video in the playlist, Raspberry Pi Getting Started, you'll recall that I put my Raspberry Pi in an enclosure. Now, this makes it a little bit difficult to work with the GPIO header on the Pi. So what I've done is to run jumper wires from the five volt positive and a ground pin on the Pi to the breadboard. And I also ran jumper wires from the power and ground wires on the cooling fan in the enclosure to power and ground on the breadboard as well. This way, I don't have to mess around with the GPIO header much as I build my circuits. I'll just have to attach jumper wires to the appropriate pins on the Pi for input and output, then work on the breadboard. Now, for connecting to the Pi, if you have a keyboard, mouse, and monitor hooked up, you can simply boot the Pi and log in. However, as I showed in the Getting Started video, I'll be connecting to my Pi in a headless manner using the VNC viewer running on an M1 Mac. Okay. With that out of the way, let's move on and take a look at the circuit. As mentioned previously, I ran jumper wires from the Pi's GPIO header so I could connect them to the breadboard. Here, I have the blue jumper wire, which is attached to the GPIO 4 pin on the Pi for the LED, and the green jumper wire, which is attached to the GPIO 17 pin on the Pi for the button. The blue jumper wire runs from GPIO 4 to one end of the resistor, and the green jumper wire runs from GPIO 17 to one side of the push button, with the other side of the push button running to ground. The LED has one cathode terminal connected to the other end of the resistor and the other cathode terminal going to ground. And that completes the circuit, so let's move on to the code. So here's the script we'll execute on the Pi. First, from the GPIO0 library, we'll import the functions for the LED, and then import the functions for the button. Here, we're declaring two variables. The first LED, which will be for GPIO pin 4, and the button will be for GPIO pin 17. Then, we declare an infinite loop, so while true is true, and it always will be because at no point in time are we breaking out of this loop, we'll call the wait for press method on the button and wait for the button to be pressed. When the button's pressed, we'll call the on method on the LED and then wait for the release of the button. When the release of the button happens, we'll call the off method on the LED and turn the LED off. And we'll continue this process in the loop of waiting for the button to be pressed to turn the LED on and waiting for the button to be released for turning the LED off. So with this, I'll go ahead and copy the code. Now I'll jump into a terminal and ping raspberry pi.local to make sure the Pi is on the network, and it is. Then I'll SSH into the Pi. And do a hostname minus i to get the IP address which is 10.0.0.220. Now I'll jump into VNC Viewer, and I already have a connection to 10.0.0.220 to connect to the Pi, but if I didn't have this connection, I would go ahead and enter it here and then connect. Now, I'll be using Thony as my editor, and I have a shortcut here, but if you don't yet have a shortcut, you can click on the Raspberry Pi icon, go to Programming, and then Thony. Now, I'll paste in the code that I copied from the Mac, save it to a file, and then click Run. Now, we can see we're running the script, and if I go over to the Pi and toggle the push button, we'll see our LED illuminate on the button press as expected. So that concludes this video on building a circuit to use a push button to toggle an LED. If you found it useful, 
feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another Raspberry Pi video soon.